Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the 2013 Facebook lottery email scam and I'm going to show you the many ways that you can tell that it is a scam. The first thing you can do is try copying the title and then go to Google and Google it. The third link down it says fake Facebook lottery winner suckers thousands and it's from PC magazine so I know it's legit so I'm gonna click on it so this article was written December 1st 2012 it's a little over a year old and I'm just gonna read little parts out of all this and I'm gonna start right here has the general Facebook connected world really sunk into the level of liking or commenting on posts in an attempt to win a huge share of a fellow users now fake lottery winnings if I go down a little further, starting right here, a Facebook user named Nolan Daniels decided to post up a picture of his winning lottery ticket. And here's the picture right here with him holding the lottery ticket. Anyone sharing the image would be invited to Daniels' personal lottery, where he would allegedly give one person a cut of $1 million of his allegedly significant winnings. And then here's the sad part. Of course, more than 200,000 Facebook users shared this image. That was a year ago. I just got this email yesterday, so it's still circulating. And you figure of the 200,000 people, if they send it to just one person, that goes to 400,000 people. More than likely, they sent this to multiple people. So it's probably now in the millions. If I scroll down a little further here, right here, it says, according to Powerball's official frequently asked questions, the tickets print the white ball numbers in numerical order. It doesn't sound even close to the ticket that he's holding up. His is handwritten, says $1 billion, and in parentheses it says totally real. And then right here, it says, has anyone actually ever gotten a slice of another Facebook user's lottery winnings just for the simple act of liking or commenting on a post? And why do your average Facebook users think there's even a remote possibility that this would happen? that a brand new multimillionaire is going to specifically track down the thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people who now get a slice of his or her payout and unfortunately they're falling for it you know like I said this was a year ago and at that time there was already 200,000 people who had fell for it so now I'm going to go back to the email and let's look at some other things in this another red flag here is it's addressed to undeclosed recipients in other words it was sent out to the masses probably thousands of people and we'll pick this thing apart here if I come down a little further this is not Facebook's logo when you see this United Kingdom that should make you automatically go up and hit the spam button it says congratulations on your winning as our verification team alerts that your data verification process was successful prior to the result of the 2013 Facebook online splash lotto which was recently held in the United Kingdom once again red flag and they went a little further to try to make it look real they gave me the credit file they gave me a ticket number approval number ballot number payment serial number And then down below it says, however, you are required to reconfirm your information for verification and immediate payment. That they want all this information from me. They want my full name, my address, my date of birth, my cell phone number. They want to know if I'm male or female, if I'm married. They want my email address. They want to know where I work. And they also want to know the next of kin. Now, why would they need to know all of that? Right below that it says, upon receipt of the above details from you, our lotto team will proceed with the immediate processing of your winning payment for its subsequent release. So it kind of gives you a sense of urgency. They go a little further in the next paragraph and they say, also note that this winning notification is only valid for 14 days. And failure to file for claim within the period will automatically void your winnings. And then right up here, it says, you also are advised to keep your winning details confidential. Don't tell anybody that you want until your claims have been fully processed and your money remitted to you. And then down below, they make even further attempts to make it look real. They give somebody's name. They give him a title, which is Marketing Director, Online Coordinator, Facebook Lottery. 
and then right below that it says Facebook with the copyright logo and in 2013 so now before we dig any deeper into this there are actually a couple of major red flags here number one this looks nothing like a Facebook communication there's no blue borders there's no Facebook logos it looks nothing like anything Facebook would send you and of course the biggest red flag of all on this email I don't even have a Facebook account okay so now we've picked apart the actual email itself let's go even further and look at the contents I'm gonna click on show original starting from here on up is the header of the email this is where most of the information is that we're going to be looking at and then down below is actually the contents of the email the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking through here for different signs or different things that I can pick out of here and look up like this one right here mx1.nomotech.net I'm going to copy that and I'm going to google it and nothing came up for it so I'm going to take out the mx1 dot and hit enter again so this time now we found a nomotech.net here and we also found one right here the top one here is the big one and notice at the end of them there's question marks this is web of trust this is an add-on you can get in Firefox all you got to do is go to the add-ons type in WOT capital letters and then install and if I read below here it says a description of this result is not available because of this site's robots.txt okay so that's a big red flag right there the robots.txt and I'm going to explain that to you real quick here it says bots perform malicious tasks allowing an attacker to take complete control over an affected computer for the criminal to control remotely once infected these machines may also be referred to as zombies taking over one computer is useful but the real value to a criminal comes from collecting a huge number of computers and networking these also known as botnet so they can all be controlled at once and perform large-scale malicious acts and it says as of August 2011 there were between 100 and 150 million computers worldwide and that was out of 600 million PCs on the internet infected with bots and under the control of hackers these computer owners unwittingly put everything at risk cyber criminals make money from their botnets in several ways they may use the botnets themselves to send spam phishing or other scams to trick consumers into giving up their hard-earned money they may also collect information from the bot infected machines and use it to steal identities and run up loan and purchase charges under the user's name they may use their botnets to create denial of service attacks that flood a legitimate service or network with a crushing volume of traffic the volume may severely slow down the company's service or network's ability to respond or may entirely overwhelm the company's service or network and shut them down so that's what the robot.txt file does so we now know that this email is 100% fake and I'm going to show you one more thing here if I were to go back to show original and if I copied the entire header and if I open IP net info I'm going to click on the IP button and clear the screen and now I'm going to paste what I just copied into it and then click OK. And here's the red flags. It started at the Google server in California, went to France, to Germany, and back to France again. You see something like that? That's all you need to know. And if I wanted to, I could start picking through the network names, the owner name, contact name. I can look at their addresses. I look at the domains in their email, I look at the domains in the abuse email, the host name, and the resolve name. All this is enough information where you should find that this email is bad. And then we'll close this back out. Close all this. So I don't know how many ways I just showed you to tell that this email is bad, but it was enough ways to make it quite obvious that no one is going to win the 2013 Facebook lottery and no one's going to share their winnings with you either and just so you guys know this is the same exact email that was going around last year all they did was added the 2013 to it 
and what you need to do when you get the email like this is over here in the drop down I've already reported this as phishing so it says report not phishing but normally it would say report phishing you would click on report phishing I hope this video helped you hopefully you'll be a little more careful when you get emails like this thank you for watching have a great day